Did you read about the crash warnings? Um, uh, there is a, if you look at the Dow Jones, and that's what the news that is spreading already um, yesterday and today, um, they, there was an author looking at the Dow Jones um, year to date at the chart, and he overlaid this chart with um, the Dow Jones chart of the year 1987, and he found out that, wow, it's almost exactly the same chart. And what followed in 1987 in October was a big, massive crash. So is that about to repeat itself? Is history repeating itself? I don't think so. The Federal Reserve has indicated that they want to hike rates in December, yes, but they didn't really say that they will. They only said that they might. They prepared the markets that there is a higher probability that they will, but they didn't do it yet and didn't say that they will. And so, should markets really drift lower, they will um, open the floodgates of money again and stabilize the uh, equity markets again. So, plunge protection team is active and ready, so do not underestimate that factor. But um, that said, or that being said, um, there might be a correction coming uh, in equity markets. Uh, there are sell signals on Wall Street, actually, so several hundred points in the Dow Jones, yes, but a crash. I don't think so. I would rather say that from a contrarian standpoint, it is very positive that once the Dow Jones goes down a little, which it did, it's not a major correction by now, as soon as it goes down a little, all of a sudden and immediately there are crash forecasts in the markets. And that is from a contrarian sentiment perspective, it's really positive. If you look at private investors and their sentiment in uh, the United States, if you look at the American Association of Individual Investors, you find out that they are very bearish, very bearish. They are not in the market. So if they miss the correction and to enter the correction, they might miss the bowl and might miss a rally coming. That is at least what the um, seasonality and cyclicality of the markets tell us. Because we are in an election year, Trump is actually 11 percentage points behind Hillary Clinton. It's very hard for him to um, gain crown and actually win the election. At least that's what the polls indicate. So we are in an election year and normally in such an election year markets form a major bottom, a major low in October. So right now, where we are right now, markets might form a major low. And then normally, until the end of the year, they um, go into a strong rally. If you look at the seasonality, um, we are in Germany, so I'm looking very strongly at the DAX. DAX normally, in, from a seasonal standpoint, also forms a low in October. So now we have that correction, there might be a low coming, and all of a sudden there is very bearish sentiment, crash forecast in the market, which in, um, taken together is really a positive signal from a contrarian uh, standpoint. So um, if you are trading the DAX, it is actually has not really managed to break above 10,707 points. Um, it is trying to actually stabilize itself um, and the Dow Jones as well at the lows of yesterday. Should it break lower below the lows of yesterday, there might be a correction coming until 9,973 points. That's the target of a technical double top formation. Um, so uh, that target of 9,973 is active as long as the DAX stays below 10,707. So another market you should watch today is Brent crude oil. Um, take a look at that. Um, if it goes above $52 on a weekly closing basis, it would activate an inverted head and shoulders pattern. There would be a bottom information which has formed um, over the duration of the past one and a half years. Um, and yeah, if it goes above $52 on a weekly closing basis, it would trigger that inverted head and shoulders pattern and would activate a target above $70 until the, I guess, the something for year 2017. So that is very interesting. Watch Prem crude oil and watch the equity markets um, closely 
these days. And so luckily now um, the show behind me has ended. Um, so um, $70 and above, that would be the Prent crude target if Prent goes up above 52 on a weekly closing basis, which is half nine tonight. Um, so watch that and watch the equity markets for a potential cyclical and seasonal low about to come.